Welcome to the Cybersecurity Minute. This week, we're going to tackle a tough question, and that's how do you get your first job in cybersecurity and IT? Well, why is that a tough question? It shouldn't be that hard to get a job, right? You go to school, you get some certifications, or you get a degree, and you go and apply, and you get that first job. Well, it's not quite that easy. Now, why is it not that easy? Because we get into the standard catch-22. And that catch-22 is this. You won't hire me because I don't have experience. But I can't get experience because you won't hire me. And we get into this cycle. Now, how do we break that cycle? So what did I end up doing? So when I wanted to get into the IT field back in the late 90s, what I ended up doing was I went and got a certification. I went and got the CompTIA A+. It focuses on hardware and software operating, troubleshooting, and repair. So once I got that, I thought, hey, I've got my certification. I'm going to go set the world on fire, and I'm going to get a job today. So I applied at half a dozen companies, and no one wanted to hire me because on paper, I had no experience. All I had was a certification, and that was a problem. So I had been a hobbyist for years, but I had nothing on paper that would support the fact that I knew what I was doing, except for the certification. So I eventually found one company that was willing to hire me. And they basically wanted to pay me minimum wage. So they wanted to start me out really low and get a deal on me because they were taking a huge risk taking someone who was unproven. Now, instead of doing that, what I ended up doing was I started my own company. This was the late 90s. Everyone was starting to get computers in their home, but no one really understood how to fix them or how to use them. And so I put an ad in the newspaper and started Jason's Tech Consulting. And essentially, when small businesses or homeowners had issues with their computer, they would call me, and for 50 or 60 bucks an hour, I would run out there and I would go fix their problems or train them how to solve their issues. And that worked really well, and I did that for a couple of years. So that's one way that you can get out of the cycle is you can simply just start your own company. So if you are going to be in the IT tech support realm, there's lots of small businesses and lots of homeowners that need help fixing their IT system. Another way is volunteer. Now, this sounds kind of weird. Why am I going to go and work for free? Well, sometimes you work for free just to get the experience. So I'll give you an example of this. When I started out wanting to shift into teaching, again, I had the same problem. I had lots of experience as a cybersecurity and IT guy, but nobody wanted to hire me as a teacher because I was unproven. So I started doing it on a volunteer basis. I went and worked with some high schools, and I worked with some local communities, and I taught classes, and I started getting that on my resume. And after about six months of that, then all of a sudden the local community college was interested in picking me up as a paid position because I now was a proven commodity. And so sometimes you got to look at opportunities like that of where you can work for three months or six months, either as an intern or as a volunteer, to get something on your resume and move forward. The third way, you can start out at a position below yourself. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, remember, after I got my certification, half a dozen companies said, no, they didn't want to hire me. But I did have one that said they would, but they only wanted to pay me at minimum wage, which was well below the market rate for that skill set. But again, they were taking a risk on me because I was unproven. So I could have gone and worked there for three months or six months, built my resume up a little bit, and then moved to another company. So again, how do you break out of this catch-22? Well, you've got to get experience. How do you get experience? You've got to get creative. You can start your own side business. You can start volunteering or you can start working at a company below your normal wage, so at least they'll get you in there. The other way I've seen people do it is they'll get into a company doing something else that they already are doing and then shift over into the IT world. So for instance, if you were a police officer before, you may work for somebody as a security guard, and then once you're in the company, do a lateral move into IT. That's worked for some of my students as well. But again, it is hard. You've got to be able to get that first job. The good news is, once you have that experience on your resume, the field is so booming that people are going to look for you left and right once you have some experience. But nobody wants to be the one who takes that chance on you first, and that's the hard thing. If you have any comments, leave them below, and I look forward to seeing you next week on the Cybersecurity Minute.